I'm Andy Parkin, Managing Director of the multi-award winning SpeedScreed. I'm here today to talk about soundproof floors. Sound pollution is a real problem that requires building regulations to control. Within Part E of the building regulations covering sound, E1 and E2. Protection from noise from adjoining buildings, which includes terraces, semis and flats, are all covered by E1. Sound transmissions within the home are covered by E2. There are two tests that form the basis of Part E, and that is airborne sound and impact sound. The minimum requirements for airborne sound resistance for dividing walls or floors between homes is 45 decibels in new builds and 43 decibels in existing buildings being converted. The regulations state that the internal airborne resistance inside the property must not exceed 40 decibels for walls and upper floors between bedrooms and other rooms. When looking at impact sound, a maximum impact sound transmittance of 62 decibels for floors and stairs in new bills. For existing conversions, the maximum is 64 decibels. So what is the problem? Like water, sound looks for the path of least resistance. Any tiny holes or gaps, such as service holes like waste water pipes and electrical services, all of which are pathways for sound transmission. Around the house, there are lots of potential hazards that could cause sound transmission. And careful planning of all works must be undertaken to ensure that the property does not fail the regulations. Following on services, some other control items are uh, isolating flues that service uh, fires between floors, cutting in sockets back to back on walls, vibration through fixing bolts and nails, ensure that the, that the screed is always below such fixings or is isolated, hard floor coverings laid directly to floorboards, no insulation between the floor screed, substrate and walls. So what are the options for a soundproof floor? If your building falls under part E of the building regulations, you have two options. First of all, you undergo pre-completion testing where airborne and impact sound are, tests, uh, are tested to ensure that the minimum requirements are achieved. Option number two is to sign up to robust details, which is an alternative to pre-completion testing. By using this scheme, it takes away the uncertainties of pre-completion testing. When signing up to robust details, you have several options when it comes to your floor construction. Each of, the, each of these options have been extensively tested and adopted into the scheme. If you follow all the instructions when carrying out the work to, to the high standard set, then there is no testing to be carried out. If your project does not require you to undergo pre-completion testing or sign up to robust detail, there are still many reasons why you would want to soundproof your floor. Do you really want sound transmissions from one room to another or floor to floor? With a little planning, your detached property can be a quiet haven for all the family. So what products are available? There are many soundproofing products on the market. Some examples are Plytech Genimat, Isorubber, Tranquilt and Regupol, to name but a few. I hope we have given you some ideas as to how you would obtain a soundproof floor. We love to help. Contact us.